Hey guys, Astro here, back with another video, and today we're going to do another video in the Starved verse. I'll probably do a gameplay video like tomorrow. Now, if you did not know, a lot of people have been telling me in the comments that there was a Starved Bowser. Um, this was on my Starved Luigi video. So I decided to go onto YouTube and have a little research. Turns out there are quite a lot of Starved Bowser um, songs. Now, I've decided to make my own official Starved vs. Starved Bowser. Now, before the video starts, I must say, I have actually made a Starved vs. Discord server where you can join, share your memes, share your art of different Starved characters and just generally chat about different Starved characters. You That will be linked in the description, so can you please join it? And you can also follow the Twitter account where I post general updates. Either that, or you can stay in the Discord server, which will probably have more updates, to be honest. But with that said, um, if you all could like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it, as I'm almost at 7,000 subscribers. And my goal is going to be 10,000 subscribers, and once I hit 10k, I'm going to do my own Sonic.exe character. So if you want to see that, try and help me get to 10k. Anyway, on with the story. It had been a few days after Bowser's defeat at the Hand of Mario. On his way towards the castle, he spotted a dead and rotting body in a cave. Obviously someone had died from a leg injury it seemed. Buzz was just going to pass it and continue on his journey until he caught smell of the corpse. Instead of smelling foul like one would expect, it smelt like freshly baked bread, a more delicious aroma. After smelling the almost heavenly smell, Bowser came to a realisation that since he was too preoccupied with trying to capture Princess Peach, he had not eaten in a few days. Bowser was absolutely starving, so put into a trance by the scent of the body, he slowly advanced towards it and took a big chunk out of it. A few days had passed and Luigi had come back from an errand that he had done for Mario. As Luigi was approaching the Mushroom Kingdom, he noticed that there was smoke rising from, from there. Dropping his packages, Luigi ran toward the village. Once he arrived, he noticed that 90% of all the homes had been reduced to rubble and smoke, and there were all robotic Koopas marching around and looking inside some of the remaining houses. And the Mushroom Castle was now made of a, out of a dark metal and had flags depicting Bowser on it, as well as the entrance being Bowser's face. Luigi thought that Mario must currently be battling against Bowser, so Luigi snuck into the castle, heading to the throne room. Nothing would have prepared him for what he saw. Entering Bowser's throne room, he was immediately hit with a sight that made his stomach churn. There some of his friends, such as Princess Peach, Daisy, Toad and Yoshi, all violently killed and their remains left in a fearsome display of savagery. Luigi was just about to run away when a deep, raspy voice came from the throne. I advise against doing that, Luigi. After all, Mario is absolutely dying to meet you. Luigi turned around and saw Bowser, red and disfigured, blood dripping from his mouth, and next to him, a metal figure that looked like Mario. Bowser stood up and announced, Do you like Mario? I gave him some improvements. Then, Bowser pressed a button on the back of Ma Metal Mario's head, and the front panel of the face popped off, revealing Mario's face, albeit with a metal jaw. Bowser announced, He tried to stop me, so I defeated him and made him my loyal servant. Bowser advanced towards Luigi. Enough chit chat, Palmer. Time for my dessert. Just as Bowser was going to swing his claws down, intent on killing Luigi, a metal fist grabbed Bowser's forearm, and a robotic voice spoke. I will not allow you to, to kill my brother, Bowser. I'm now serious. Me and Luigi will kill you. 